So, Lois, earlier you asked me, like, is there one thing that everybody doesn't know? And there, there is one thing. We've been through a lot together, so I, I hope you'll forgive me for not telling you about this, because it's sort of my thing. It's kind of my secret obsession, and I haven't known what to do with it, so I've never told anybody. But about three years ago, when Pete came to visit me in Metropolis, we got drunk, we got into a fight about me not going to Kenny's wedding, and I tried to fly into space, and when I tried to fly into space, uh, I got approached by these green guys. Stop, don't interrupt. These green guys, yes, I think they were, stop, wait, wait. I got approached by these green guys. I can't breathe in space, so I almost choked and died, and they brought me back down, and I was like, okay, well, what the fuck was that? You know, I, I heard them say some things, but I didn't really understand and I couldn't tell if it was English. It was like they were talking inside my head through a green box. I really, yes. No, it was not a hallucination. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, you know me. Do I seem like an uncurious guy? No, of course not. So, you know, a month passes. I get my courage up. I fly up again. No Superman suit. I just went up there in a jacket because it's cold as fuck when you get high. So I get higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And I realize I can't breathe. The pressure's getting to my head from the change. I'm flying too fast. I'm getting the fucking bends. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. But lo and behold, as I leave the atmosphere, little green guy comes like drifting towards me. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. But it's the same motherfucker. He looks like a fucking fish or something. Yes, he's an alien. Yes, yes, they're aliens, Lois. Yes, I've, I've seen aliens. I saw a UFO, all right? Is that... Well, I didn't want to tell you because I thought you'd have the response you're having now, which is that, well, if you let, if you let me finish this story, then you'll know. So he let me choke out and fall. And I fell maybe a mile straight down before I got my shit together and I was able to land, but I was in fucking Nairobi and I had no idea where I was and my phone didn't work. So it took me like, Two days to get home, and yes, it was the weekend. I missed the company picnic. I was looking for the alien. I was looking for the alien. And I I know you looked ridiculous because we had just started dating. I know, we don't need to restart this, but listen. So that wasn't the last time either. I kept going up, but now these motherfuckers, they know that I know that I can't go into space. I can't breathe in space. I, I ended up getting my scuba certification. Then I brought a tank up there. Halfway up, the first tank exploded. Again, I fell out of the air. I got totally confused. I lost my phone. I ended up in fucking Kenya. I keep going. The thing is, I try to fly into the sun so I can sneak up on the green guys. Well, yeah, I've done it. Yeah, more than four times. Yeah, like a couple dozen times. Like I, when I was 27, I spent my whole summer doing this. All right, I can't catch up to the green guys. They won't talk to me. If I go near them, they fly away faster than I can fly. I don't know what their story is. I don't know if they have anything to do with me. The only time one of them has interacted with me is the first time I went up and now I can't catch them. So you know what? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I'm home late from work, sometimes when I'm late to something, it's because I got ADHD and I was like, today's the day I get the green guy. And then surprise, surprise, I'm falling out of the sky in mainland China, choking up my fucking lunch. Like, Lois, I am so happy that I get to just get this off my chest. There's aliens floating around Earth. They're like space police or something. They're just up there. They're just fucking up there.